Good day, everyone, and thanks for joining us for this webinar on International Space Station National Lab Research Announcement, or NLRA 2024-5, focused on leveraging the ISS National Lab for STEM education and workforce development. I'm Patrick O'Neill, Public Affairs and Outreach Lead for the ISS National Lab. This webinar is designed to help educate those of you who might be interested in submitting a Step 1 concept summary. Please note, this webinar is being recorded and will be available on the ISS National Lab website. Additionally, at the end of the webinar, there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions. Okay, so let's get a little into the background and history of the ISS National Lab. The Center for the Advancement of Science in Space, or CASIS, is the manager of the ISS National Lab and has served as such since 2011 through a cooperative agreement with NASA. In fact, NASA extended this cooperative agreement for CASIS to manage the ISS National Lab through 2027. Each year, the ISS National Lab puts forth a variety of research announcements focused on targeted areas for researchers, companies, innovators, and educators alike. The purpose of these research announcements is to enable greater access to the ISS, a one-of-a-kind platform in low Earth orbit, to bring scientific value back to people on Earth, build commerce in space, and inspire the next generation of researchers and explorers. And with that, I'd like to bring into the conversation Courtney Black, Education Project Manager for the ISS National Lab. Welcome, Courtney. Thanks, Patrick. Glad to be here. Okay, so Courtney, at a high level, uh, can you talk about the role of STEM education and workforce development with the ISS National Lab? Well, the ISS National Lab works to shape the next generation of leaders who will step into STEM careers and play a key role in the future space community. We want to advance science literacy in this future workforce by supporting STEM education initiatives and programs that leverage the ISS for industry-related workforce development. We engage the full spectrum of students from grades K to 12 to higher education and promote diversity and outreach into underrepresented demographics. Let's start talking about how your initiative or program can take advantage of this research announcement. In this webinar, we'll provide an overview of this STEM education and workforce development focused research announcement, discuss the components of a strong proposal, share a couple of project examples, and then highlight the process, timeline, and award information. As Patrick mentioned, we'll then have a Q&A session. Many of us have heard the term workforce development before. How does the ISS National Lab define that? And how does it fit into the objectives for this research announcement? Great question, Patrick. In order for the U.S. to stay competitive in the space industry and keep pace with projected industry growth, it is essential to ensure that we are training and equipping the next generation to not only step into STEM careers, but also become leaders in the space industry. The ISS National Lab regards workforce development as the creation and implementation of programs, training, and skills building that helps develop a world-class STEM workforce to ensure the nation's scientific, technological, and economic leadership. With that definition in mind, we will be looking for the following specific components and proposals for this research announcement. Create new or expand education programs, projects, or public-private partnerships with elements that address workforce development. Engage post-secondary students, including colleges, universities, community or junior colleges, and vocational institutions, K-12 students, and or educators explicitly state how programming will target and reach underrepresented demographics, include a detailed plan for metrics gathering and analysis. It's important that you clearly state in your step one concept summary how your proposal includes each of these components. Take your time. Consider how your initiative or program addresses STEM education and or workforce development, and be as detailed as you can. The ISS National Lab has issued multiple STEM education-focused research announcements. Can you give our webinar attendees examples of a couple of previously awarded projects that might help them begin to plan their own projects? That's a great idea. I always like to have some examples before I get started on new work. Over the years, there have been some great projects that address STEM education and workforce development. A project in partnership with Oklahoma State University and the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma is studying the effects of spaceflight on Choctaw heirloom seeds which have particular cultural and historical significance to Native Americans. The seeds were flown to the ISS and will be returned to Earth where they will be grown and studied by Choctaw students. Emphasis was placed on career development and the project was designed to bring awareness of STEM and specifically space-related careers to Native American students. Let's look at another great example. This project comes from Carthage College in partnership with the Wisconsin Space Grant Consortium. The Embedded Teacher Program allows middle school students to design experiments 
that are flown on reduced gravity flights by their teachers, allowing students to be part of scientific experimentation and design their own investigations helps them to see themselves as future scientists. Thanks so much for those project examples. I'm sure people are wondering what their first step should be. Can you provide some details about this current research announcement? This research announcement, leveraging the ISS National Lab for STEM Education and Workforce Development, is awarding up to $600,000 in total funding with the expectation to grant four to five awards. Grant funding is available for both ground-based and flight efforts. The performance period for any project should be no longer than three years from the date of the award. While matching funds are not a requirement, proposals that contain matching funds may be looked upon more favorably. I'd like to pause here for a second and talk a bit more about implementation partners. Implementation partners are only needed for projects that have a spaceflight component. Implementation partners are organizations that have expertise in translating proposed work for the ISS environment. It's important to connect with an implementation partner during your step one concept summary preparation. I encourage you to visit our implementation partner database and begin engaging in conversations with these organizations early. There's additional information about implementation partners as well as available hardware on station in the solicitation documents. You might be wondering what kind of submission you need to prepare. Do applicants need to write a full proposal before the April 24th deadline? This research announcement will follow a two-step proposal submission process and only step one concept summaries are due by April 24th. Before being invited to submit a full proposal, all interested investigators must submit a concept summary for review through our online portal. Concept summaries will be reviewed by our internal review team consisting of representatives from each department to evaluate the feasibility and alignment of concepts with the objectives of the NLRA. Concept summaries will be received and reviewed on a rolling basis throughout the Step 1 submission window, which closes on April 24th. Applicants whose concepts are approved in Step 1 will be invited to submit a full proposal for Step 2. Applicants not invited to Step 2 will receive feedback. The criteria for selection will primarily focus on STEM education and workforce development, implementation and feasibility, flight operations, and utilization of the ISS. More information on selection criteria can be found in the documents on the NLRA webpage. For those ready to download the documents and begin working on their concept summary, all of this information is on the research solicitation page. We at the ISS National Lab understand that the application process might be a bit daunting for some. So we've put together some guidance and other helpful information you can use to prepare your submission. When putting together a proposal, make sure to use the available resources, which you can find links to on the research solicitation page. Everything we've covered so far regarding this research announcement is all detailed in the downloadable documents and instructions available on the webpage. In fact, there's more detail in those documents than what we're sharing with you now. If your project includes a spaceflight component, connect with an implementation partner early. The scope of work and budget that you received from your selected implementation partner is critical. Write to the evaluation criteria. The instructions outline the evaluation criteria that will be used to evaluate your concept summary. Address all the evaluation criteria. Proposals that do not address all of the criteria or address them poorly are very likely to receive low evaluation ratings. Lastly, submit a compliant concept. Ensure that your research objectives are within the scope of this specific research announcement. It is important to remember that the NLRA process is the only way to access the ISS, whether it is flight allocation, crew time, funding, or other ISS National Lab resources. So read through the solicitation instructions and reach out if you have any questions by using the email address below. So for a quick review, the full schedule for submission, review, and selection can be found on this chart. We are now accepting step one concept summaries, and these are due by April 24th. Full proposals, which are by invitation only, are due by July 1st. Proposals will go through a review process and projects will be selected in September of 2024. We have solicitations for other research areas throughout the year, but this will be the only time in 2024 that we are accepting STEM education and workforce development proposals. To our audience, remember that the goal of ISS National Lab Activities is to bring value and impact 
back to the U.S. economy and taxpayers by benefiting life here on Earth. Forney, that was an outstanding review of this STEM education and workforce development research announcement. It's open now and ready for applicants. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Now, you all have the information you need to get started on your concept summary submission. This is a great opportunity to take advantage of the expertise and access to space available to you through the ISS National Lab. Be sure to check in with the ISS National Lab online and on social media to keep up to date on all ISS National Lab activities. What's up next, Patrick? Well, it's time to take some of the questions from you, our webinar attendees. Thanks for attending and stay tuned.